Welcome into the Pride in Demarest, Georgia, everybody. It's a beautiful afternoon at the Walker Athletic Complex, and it's CCS conference action between the LaGrange Panthers and your Piedmont Lions. Welcome to into the booth, everybody. Eric Evans in here with you, getting ready to call this contest where the Lions look to pick it back up. A tough set of games yesterday led to tough two losses for them. So they're going to be sending Megan Steinmeier to the circle to try to get them on the right foot. It's a new revamp lineup for this Lions squad. We'll talk about that when we get to the bottom half of the inning. But the starting lineup for the Panthers goes as follows. Lindsey Swearingen is the shortstop, and she'll be leading off. Batting at the second position in right field is Alexa Gonzalez. And batting third is the DP, Kaitlyn Minion. Minahan, excuse me. Swear engine. Dusts off a bit in the right hand of batter's box for climbing in. Steinmeier adjusts the face mask. Now climbs onto the slab. Catcher Green's ready to go. She fires. First pitch is a strike. And we are underway at 11.56. We're ahead of schedule. Second pitch. This one's popped up. A little bit on the infield. Now at the second base bag making the grab is Chronic. And there's one away. Give you the defensive outline for the Lions. As Alexa Gonzalez digs in from left to right in the outfield, it's Votava, Callaway, and Lowry. And on the infield, it's Isley, Speaks, Chronic, and Taylor. Green behind the plate with Steinmeier. First pitch of the sequence misses upstairs, and it is 1-0. and Steinmeier comes in with a 3-4-7 ERA. She's 4-7 on the year with 47 strikeouts. 78 and two-thirds innings pitch. That's most on the team as that one hits the chain link for strike number one. One-one pitch on the way. Foul back again and straight back. One-two. Steinmeier, the workhorse in this rotation. Has the most innings on Piedmont's roster. She also gives up hits. But she's able to work out of any trouble. A 310 batting average against her. 1 2, missed well outside. Didn't mean to put it there. And it's two balls and two strikes. Two-two. This one on the ground, right back to Steinmeier. Show collected in the circle. Fire over to Taylor. And there's two away. The DP, Caitlin, Minahan. Caitlin Minahan climbs in. I missed inside to the DP. Steinmeier looks into green, rolls back and fires off the hand, speaks, his, grabs it on one hop, over to Taylor, and a one, two, three inning for Megan Steinmeier. Very routine, love to see it. Lions will travel to the bottom of the first inning, looking to break the seal on this one. It's nothing, nothing early. You're watching Piedmont Lions Athletics on YouTube.
the like, Polish dude versus... Talked about that new revamp lineup for the Lions coming into the bottom of the... or in the top of the first inning. Talk about it right now. It'll be number 31, the first baseman, Kira Taylor, leading it off for Piedmont. Then you go to Matty Speech, the shortstop batting second. Batting third is Caitlin Isley. Then Jasmine Lowry's in the cleanup spot. Steinmeier at for five. Jordan Green right behind her. Then Matty Chronic batting seventh. Batting eight, it's Hannah Calloway. And batting ninth is Kennedy Votava. So Lions turn to their best hitter, Kara Taylor, to lead it off. She leads the team in home runs and RBIs at 20. 21, rather. First pitch she sees from Claire Chamberlain is rolled foul 0 oh, 1. Chamberlain comes in with a 4 6 8 ERA and 86 and two thirds innings pitched. Just 32 strikeouts. That one clips the outside corner. Now quickly 0-2 on Taylor. Taylor looking to fight back into this count. And that one came inside. And that looked like it clipped her jersey. But no call from the home plate umpire. It'll just be ball one. One, two. Rolled over to the third base side, but a foul ball. Stopped by Coach Terry Martin over there. Just put the foot on it. Chamberlain sets back in. One, two. This one's lined through the hole. Base hit. Lead off single. For the Lions, that'll get things going, and that new look lineup already paying dividends. Next up, it'll be Maddie Speaks. Maddie Speaks. First pitch to Speaks from Chamberlain. Maddie squares the button, gets past the catcher Coleman, and advancing to second base is Taylor. So a wild pitch on Chamberlain moves the first possible first run of the ball game in a scoring position. Even the defensive outline for the LaGrange Panthers is Hefner, Hornsby, and Gonzalez left to right in the outfield. Speak squares to bunt, pulls it back, and that's ball number two. And that's Hefner, Hornsby, and Gonzalez. And in the infield for LaGrange, it's Yeary at third, Swearingen at short, Barnett at second, and Barris at first. And behind the plate, just mentioned Coleman. This one popped up on the infield over to Swearingen. She makes the grab, and there's one away. Coming the third baseman, Caitlin Isley. Here's Caitlin Isley. She leads the team in batting average. Also holds the best OBP on the squad. This one a chopper over to the second baseman, Barnett. She can't handle it cleanly as it skips into center field. And just like that, the Lions on top as Kara Taylor races around to score. It's an RBI single for Caitlin Isley. One to nothing, Piedmont. Into the box, right fielder, Jasmine Lowry. Here's cleanup batter, Jasmine Lowry. Lowry slugging 595 on the year. 20 RBI for her, so she's right behind Carrot Taylor. Isley got around to sec second base on that last play, so now her and Taylor just swap positions. And she's going to try to swipe third, but she's going to be gunned down. Coleman, a strong throw. And. Isley's put away, now two down for Lowry in a 1-1 count. This miss is well outside from Clear Chamberlain. Two one, rolled foul. 
Steinmeier awaits on deck. Chamberlain tries to get the sheen off of that ball. We're stepping onto the rubber. 2-2. Chopper over Hermit. It's going to drill into center field for a two-out single. Jasmine Lowry reaches. And here's Steinmeier. Now the pitcher, Megan Steinmeier. Lions finding the holes. The leadoff single from Taylor was hit rather hard, but the last two just little choppers that have found their way into the outfield grass. There's a strike on the outer edge to Steinmeier. Keep an eye on Lowry. She's eight for nine in stolen base attempts. Not afraid to run, as there's a strike there. So quickly 0-2 on the Lions DP and pitcher. Steinmeier watches it go outside. This ball is going to get Lowry trying to swipe second. Coleman executed a good throw, and now Coach Martin having... A discussion with the field umpire who made the initial call. He just wanted an explanation on that, but it will retire the side. So the Lions get the first salvo of the ball game. They lead it one to nothing going into the top half of the second inning. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. So Steinmeier gets ready to work with the lead for the first time today. Leading off the top of the second, the first baseman, Zoe Barris. Zoe Barris pops one up high in the air over his speak, shielding her eyes from the sun, grabs it out of the sky, and there's one away. It's four, five, and six for LaGrange. And now it's just five and six. Into the box, the left fielder, Abby Hefner. See if Hefner's guessing on the first pitch. These LaGrange batters have been aggressive, and she is. She swings right through that one. Steinmeier gets first strike of the sequence. Hefner looked as though she might have thought about bunting, but that missed upstairs. It was one and one. Corners in for the Lions, the one one, and misses outside, two and one. Hefner on the year, a 156 batter. And that misses low. Three and one. A lot of respect been being given here by Steinmeier. That one's right off the plexiglass. Three, two. Hefner makes a lot of contacts, doesn't strike out a lot, doesn't walk a lot. So a lot of her outs are going to be 
on the ground or in the air, but this time she doesn't have to do neither. And out for her without quality of contact, and it's two down. Chamberlain. Claire Chamberlain stands in, 224 batter, and takes a first strike. Steinmeier is going up there being very aggressive. She wants the first strike on every single first pitch she throws. She's not dancing around anybody today. Big swing and a foul tip into the mitt by Chamberlain. And the LaGrange Panthers are quickly down to their final strike in the second inning. They have gone up there hacking. They haven't found anything, though. 0-2. Oh, Missed outside. Good idea to chase pitch there by Megan. Just couldn't get a bite. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. Just missed the outside part of the plate, and it'll even up the count at twos. Taylor, as well as Isley, wise to a bunt, perhaps. 2-2 is rifled out towards right. Lowry's right in line with it, and the sides are tired. Another 1-2-3 for Steinmeier. Lions look to add to their 1-0 lead. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Lions lead 1-0. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. Megan Steinmeier did not make the last out of the bottom of the first. It was a throw down, excellent throw down by Coleman from behind the plate to nab Lowry of a stolen base. So Steinmeier gets a fresh count and gets to lead off the second. Claire Chamberlain fires first pitch. This one's a chopper over to the shortstop swear engine. She goes over to Varis for one, and there's one away. Stepping into the box, the catcher, Jordan Green. Here's Jordan Green. Green hitting 365 on the year. Rocking an OBP of 441. This misses high and outside. One oh, there's a strike right at the top edge of the zone, and it'll even it up. Chamberlain's next offering is driven to right field. This might drop, and it will. One out single for the Lions. Off the bat of Jordan Green. She keeps hitting well. I'll bring up Maddie Chronic. Nobody the second baseman, Matty Chronic. Well outside. Green is five for five on stolen bases, so the catcher might have a little bit of wheels. This one hard struck to the shortstop swearing gym. She bobbles it, and she can't get anybody. 
Now Jordan Green, seeing the ball loose, is going to book it to third base. She's going to hang on to the pillow, and the Lions able to advance upon an offensive miscue by the Panthers. It should be an error on the shortstop Swearingen first. So Chronic reaches on the E6, and everyone moves up on the subsequent defensive error. Hannah Callaway squares a bunt, pulls it back, and it's strike one anyway. Lions working for a squeeze here early. Comes the 1-0 pitch. There's a strike pulled back over the right side of the left side of the plate, I should say, by Coleman. So Callaway in a hole. See if she can dig herself out of it. 0-2 pitch. This one a chopper over to the right side. That'll get the job done. So Callaway able to bring home a runner, and it's two to nothing, Lions. Into the box, number 32, Kennedy Botaba. So all runners advance. Uh, standing at third now is Chronic. Steinmeier, excuse me, Green is who scored. First pitch to Kennedy Votava. It's foul tip at the plate, 0 and 1. That one missed low. One and one. Even count offering. And Votaba takes a strike on the outer half. Chamberlain has loved that spot so far. Lions can key, on, key in on that. Start taking the ball opposite field. Take away that area for her. 1-2, and that was an attempted swing and miss, or excuse me, attempted swing to chop at it, but she will miss it, and the Lions are set down in the bottom of the second inning, but they add on. It's 2 to nothing as we go to the top half of the third. Lions on top. You're watching Lions Softball on YouTube. Steinmeier looks to keep doing good work. She'll face the bottom third of this LaGrange order. That's Yeary, Coleman, and Hornsby. And her first pitch is just a touch low to the third baseman, Yeary. Big swing and got just under it, did Jenna Yeary. Sent it right back to the chain link. That'll even up the count. Steinmeier had to adjust the laces. Now climbs back into the circle. Fires the 1-1. One -one. That is well outside. And two balls and one strike on the number seven hitter. Big swing and a miss for strike two. Got Yeary to oblige to chase one at her ankles. Depends if that primary and secondary insurance is how it works. 
Choo-choo on the way. Fouled off. You got that one, Davis? Yeah, Davis had it. <laughs> so Steinmeier takes a couple steps behind the rubber. Now climbs back onto it, ready to lock back into this at-bat. 2-2. Two -two. Missed upstairs, so that'll fill it up. First full count of the day for Steinmeier. No, no. That's not right. Is it? I can't remember. Either way, 3-2. Big swing and a miss. He, she got her. So, we're well, just trying to change the eye level there. Second strikeout of the day for Megan, and there's one away. Brooke Coleman stands in. She's already made an impact on the game. Took down two Lions base runners with that arm from behind the plate. It's 1-0 on her as Steinmeier missed outside. Here's the next one. This one popped up on the infield over as Taylor. She makes the grab just shy of the pitch circle. Hands it back to Megan and there's two down. Stepping into the box, the center fielder, Kenzie Hornsby. There's the number nine hole hitter, Kenzie Hornsby. Interesting. And that's a strike. Steinmeier found it out there. Oh, one. In the air, foul territory, making an attempt at the grab is green, but she slams in the chain link. She looks okay, though. Just came about an inch away from putting it in the mitt. So 0-2. Oh Steinmeier kicks and fires, and that one's driven to left field in foul territory, but it's going to fall left of the fence. Two down, Steinmeier looking for another clean inning. 0-2. Left field, a little pop fly, and just on the back end of the dirt, Speaks is able to range over and make the grab. Another three up, three down inning for Steinmeier. We go to the bottom of the third inning. Lions look to add on. They lead it two to nothing. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. Taylor. One, two, and three set to lead it off for the Lions in the bottom of the third inning. That's Taylor speaks to Nisley. And Taylor came around to score the first run of this ball game. Let off with a single. See if she can do the same against Chamberlain. First pitch she sees. She watches hit the outside corner. Oh, and one. This one on the ground, the same pace she hit her last ball, but this one is going to be gobbled up by the shortstop Swearingen for out number one. Step up to the plate, the shortstop, Maddie Speaks. 
Maddie Speaks popped out to Swearingen at shortstop last time she was up. Looking for better fortune here. And that misses outside. 1 0. That stayed upstairs. Good take by Speaks. She's in the count here 2 0. That missed low. Now 3 0. Speaks can fly. Get her on base, you're in good shape. There's a strike there. Three one offering. This is swung on and missed. So she got the three one green light. Went right on top of it. So Chamberlain's worked all the way back to two strikes. Speaks looking to get on. She's going to chop one over to the right side and a attempted hit, or excuse me, attempted dive by Barnett fall out of her mitt. Well, Barnett, a good effort, but she had to move so far to her left that she really had no grasp on it, and she just bobbled it a little bit, and Speaks is able to run all the way to second base. So now Lions have a one-out base runner, and she's in scoring position. The third baseman, Caitlin Isley. Caitlin Isley singled last time she was up. Popped up, foul territory, out of play. <laughs> Varys. Gave it a lot of effort over there. Went to her visitors. Well, not her visitors, but her team's dugout. Just ran right into it. 0-1. That ah, catches the outside corner. Chopper over to the shortstop swear engine. She's been busy today. She fires over to Verse and throw it over to try to nab Speaks is not in time. So Maddie Speaks advances on the throw. Brings up Jasmine Lowry. Now I think Coach Martin's having a conversation with the home plate umpire. I'm wondering if he's questioning that call at first. Coleman walks back to the plate after having a conversation with Chamberlain. Here's Jasmine Lowry. She singled last time she was up. She also caught stealing to end the inning. And there's a strike on the outer half. And the Lions are going to be a lot more respectful of that arm behind the plate as this game progresses and in game number two as well. That one's well inside and she's able to get the hands around on it and slam it into the netting in the home dugout. Oh, two. Well outside, trying to get a chase attempt out of Lowry, but no dice. One and two. Lions third potential run, waiting for a ride home at third. This one fought off foul. Coleman collects it off the chain link ricochet and fires it back to her pitcher.
One two on the way. And another one that came inside and Lowry just fighting there. Turned on it again. Warm day in Demarest. Starting to begin feeling the, the heat of the spring a little bit. One, two. This one's lined in a center field base hit. RBI single for Jasmine Lowry and the Lions add on. It's three to nothing. That was a hard hit ball. Lowry's two for two. Step over to the plate, the pitcher, Megan Steinmeier. Megan grounded out her last time up. Coleman watches the runner back. Lowry at first. As that misses outside, 1-0. Lions have three runs on six hits through three innings. Chopper into the hole, making a diving effort over there as the shortstop Swearingen, but the throw over is not going to be in time. Tremendous effort by Swearingen, but it's going to be an infield single for Megan Steinmeier. It'll be Jordan Green. Now that the catcher, Jordan Green. <laughs> Took a second for her to get to the box. She had to take off the shin guards. First pitch, she sees the sequence as a strike. And gets a strike call on the inner half as well. Green will bookmark that spot. And just remember she can get a call down there for her pitcher, Steinmeier, who sits out on first base. Try to get the Lions another run. This one hard hit right into the mitt of Barrett. And the side is retired. So Lions get another. And strand a pair, but that's okay. They lead it three to nothing. We go to the top of the fourth inning. Lions up. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. One, two, and three, two up for Steinmeier in the top half of the fourth inning. Sailing right along. That missed outside, one and oh. That one on the ground and passed a diving chronic into center field for the first base hit for the Panthers. How about a right fielder, Alexa Gonzalez? Yeah. 
So Steinmeier having to contend with the base runner for the first time today as she hits the outside corner, 0-1. Squaring to bunt is Lex Gonzalez. Throwback to first base, trying to nab Swearingen. Good cover by Maddie Chronic. Make sure she wouldn't travel too far, but they just missed her. It's two strikes on the right fielder, Gonzalez. Next pitch from Steinmeier. Well outside. Seeing if she was offering of that. Love the idea from Steinmeier. She's getting ahead so quickly that she's able to just work on that outside half to these right-handed batters. Hasn't got a lot of swings on it, but... Ooh, gets the ring up on one just right on the inside corner. A little bit of a delayed call from the home plate umpire. I thought it was going to be ball number two. Hey, we'll take it, though. First out of the inning is a looking strikeout of the right fielder, Gonzalez. That'll bring up Caitlin Minahan. Minahan grounded out to Speaks her first time up. The first pitch misses, ball and no strikes. one -oh. This one driven into center field. That's going to lay down for another base hit. Callaway triggers it in on the one hop, and there's two on with one down for the LaGrange Panthers. How about in the first baseman? Zoe Ferris. So this second time through the top half of the order, LaGrange figuring out Steinmeier at least a little bit here. Varis takes a strike on the inner half, 0-1. Oh, one. She's squaring a bunt. She puts it down. Green's going to have one play, and she gives it over to Chronic at first. Both runners advance, two away. Here's Abby Hefner called out on strikes. Her last time up. Steinmeier would love a strike out here. Mention Hefner doesn't have the strongest batting average, but still a swinging bat. Got to look out for. Oh, one is that one sent back to the chain link. Oh, one. Strike. So Steinmeier looking to set her down for the second time today and get out of this jam in the top half of the fourth. This one, a slow roller. Steinmeier out of the circle is going to give way to the third baseman. Isley and Isley with a strong throw completes the play and the sides are tired. Good job by Steinmeier to get out of that one. LaGrange gets nothing out of it. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Lions look to add on to a 3-0 lead. You're watching Piedmont Lions Softball on YouTube.
Matty Chronic is set to lead off. Lions able to get out of some danger in the top half of the fourth inning with some good defense. Some good pitching by Steinmeier, who's having a day in the circle so far. She's also got a hit for herself, so she's having it on both sides of the plate. First pitch from Chamberlain is a called strike. 0 and 1 against Matty Chronic at 7 8 9 for the Lions. This one driven to left field. It burnt Hefner for a moment, but she's somehow able to stick with that ball and leap in the air and make a grab. How'd she do that? The center fielder, Hannah Calloway. Chronic got a hold of it and. Hefner immediately looked like she was going to get cooked. But she took a couple steps back and just leaped into the air and made a grab. Hannah Calloway grounded out, but it scored a run last time she was up. She hits a high chopper, and she's going to be safe. Swearingen had to wait for that one to come down, and it's an infield single and a one-out single for Hannah Calloway. How about in the left fielder, Kennedy Votava? Votava went down on strikes last time she was up. That's outside. <laughs> One oh pitch. That's a little bit of a half bunt. I don't think she meant to do that. Now the throw gets wide. I think you score that an E1 or E2. Okay. So it would be a single, then an error on the runner advancement. So credit Votavo with the single. I chuckled earlier because in this short few innings, the Lions have had have given six opportunities to the shortstop swear at least six to the shortstop swear engine. She's been very busy today. This one right off the edge of the bat, and now it's bubbled by Barnett. One's going to score, but out at first base is Taylor. So Taylor remains productive today, is able to bring home another run, and the Lions have scored in all four frames. Nobody in the shortstop, Matty Speaks. That misses outside. Lions down to their second out. Piedmont has collected nine hits so far. This one drilled to center field, but a little bit too high as Hornsby's going to settle under it, and the side is retired. So Lions continue to scratch the tally marks. They've got four on the board. We go to the top half of the fifth inning. Lions up by four. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube.
Claire Chamberlain set to lead it off for LaGrange. She lined out to right last time she was up. And this one, she sends it towards right field, but it's going to be well out of play, so it's just strike one. Lions are filling a quota every inning. One run, at least one. They have scratched them across. They lead four to nothing as we enter the fifth inning. They collected nine hits and not a single one of them is for extra bases. All of them singles. It's been pure ABC ball. One, two on the way. Fouled off. One, two. Got her looking strike three. Steinmeier has been getting that pitch all game long, and the home plate umpire waited a moment but gave her her flowers. Jenna Yuri stands in. She struck out swinging last time up. Steinmeier fires. This one is a ball. 1-0. Well outside, 2-0. Rare moment where Steinmeier has fallen behind the batter. Two-zero on the way, and that'll miss for ball three to Jenna Yuri. Yuri batting 193. She takes the second strike here. Three one on the way. This one's sent into center field. And that's gonna lay down for a base hit. It was a good attempt by Callaway to cover ground, but it just fell short of her glove. So short, in fact, that it just short hopped into the glove. So third base hit of the day of game one for LaGrange. Coleman squares around the butt, goes right over to the third baseman, Isley, and she gets the lead runner out at second. Excellent job. It was too hard of a bunt by Coleman. So now there's two away and just the runner at second. They're first, excuse me. I meant to say first, just slipped my mind. First pitch to Kinsey Hornsby. He misses outside, 1-0. Steinmeier deals. There's strike number one. One one pitch on the way. This one sent foul, so one and two. One two. And it's swung on and missed for strike three. Excellent job by Steinmeier. She remains scoreless through five. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Lions look to add on. It's four to nothing. Piedmont. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube.
Right down the first base line, a perfect bunt, and it will. They're going to call that as a bunt single. That ball did, in fact, cross the chalk. That is a foul ball, but credit Caitlin Isley with a bunt single. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That's a bunt single. That's crazy. And the right fielder, Jasmine Lowry. This one ripped through the hole, a base hit. Isley was running on the play. She'll stay at second. Lowry at first with a hard hit single. That'll bring up Steinmeier. How about the pitcher, Megan Steinmeier? That's driven a right field, right in line with the right fielder, Gonzalez. Advancing to third base is Isley. Lions are hitting the ball well off Chamberlain here in the bottom of the fifth. Here's Jordan Green. She's one for two. Jordan Green. Green's come around to score. She singled to right her first time up and grounded out last time. Runners on the corners with one away for Piedmont. Green drops down a bunt. It's a good one. Chamberlain's going to have no play. Squeeze works excellently for Piedmont, and now they've scored one run in all five frames. It's five to nothing, and they're still threatening. Now about the second baseman, Matty Cronick. <laughs> Maddie Chronix 0 for 2. She has reached. She reached on an error by the shortstop Swearingen. She takes a ball here as it missed low. Two on with one away for the Lions. Jasmine Lowry at second base and Green at first after a RBI bunt single. 1-0 misses outside now. 2-0 to the number 7 hitter Chronic. Hannah Callaway waits behind her. She's one for two today. That's three and oh. In fact, every Lions batter has been on base at least once today. Just the one without the benefit of a hit. Is that one is off the glass, little plexiglass. Three and two now. Three two off the hands popped up behind the second base area, but Barnett able to hang with it. Now the Lions down their final out in the fifth. Here's Hannah Calloway. Now it looks like there will be substitution. Coach Martin, I think they're going to pinch hit Calloway. They are. So she's going to come out. And that's going to be number six for Piedmont, Emily Sanders. Emily Sanders. So Sanders stands in. What a chance to put some numbers on the board. Her first plate appearance of the day versus Chamberlain. 
And she takes a big hack at that one. Misses every stitch of it, though, and so it won. She had one goal in mind with that. Oh, one. And there's a call of strike. Hit the bottom right of the corner. And it's been a strike all day. Really anything in that territory. Oh, two. Called strike three. So the Lions strand two, but they get one. Go to the top half of the sixth inning. Still five to nothing. Lions on top. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. Lindsay Swearingen, Alexa Gonzalez, and Caitlin Minahan. In the sixth inning, a Steinmeier looks to go through a good six full. See if she's handed the seventh. I think the Lions have someone up at Tawson. Callaway's back at the game. She got re entered into center field after the pinch hit appearance by Emily Sanders. Steinmeier takes a walk behind the slab, now gets back into it. It's a 1-1 one, one count for Swearingen. Make it a 1-2 count. The shortstop for the Grange is 1 for 2 today, single to break up the no-hit bid. This one skied in the air, it'll drift behind playable territory, 1 and 2 still. One two on the way from Steinmeier. Chopper over to Speaks at short. She fires over to Taylor. Good stretch by Kara. And there's one away. And stretch might have beat her by a step. How about the right fielder, Alexa Gonzalez? Alexa Gonzalez stands in. Lions have out hit the LaGrange Panthers 12 to 3. Here's strike number one in the inner half. The Lions' formula has been very simple. You get one base hit, get them home, and uh, that's it. They've <laughs> tallied one in every inning. This one, a liner to Kara Taylor. It's a fair ball. It's going to be a single. It was a hard hit ball right off the end of the bat. Had some English to it. Taylor laid out for it, and it, it, it hit her, but it still had enough spin to spin behind her and get into the outfield a little bit. Thankfully, Chronic was there to back it up. One and oh. That came inside again. Wow. 
Strike one finally fired in against Minahan. Gonzalez, the runner at first. 2 1 pitch on the way. Missed upstairs. 3 and 1. Three one is sent fact fact back. Tried to say foul and back at the same time. That's what it came out as. Against the chain link. So that'll be a full count for Minahan. Drilled to center field. Callaway having a turn in the wind now makes the grab. A little bit behind her runner trying to advance and she will on a pop up slide. And Minahan got a good piece of that one, but just got under it. Nobody the first baseman, Zoe Veris. And now runner in scoring position, Zoe Veris stands in. Sacrifice bunt for her last time up. And there's a strike on the outer edge. And that's a called strike on the outer edge again. A very east to west zone today. O2. Not not that far east. Ball and two strikes now for Steinmeier. That one's lasered right to Speaks. She can't grab it once. She fires over again, though, and the side is retired. So good job by Maddie Speaks to collect herself after that one. We'll go to the top, bottom of the sixth inning. Lions lead at 5 to nothing. You're watching Piedmont Lions Softball on YouTube. First pitch is low from Claire Chamberlain. Lions will send up 9-1-2. and two. That's Votava, Taylor, and Speaks. As they look for their one run in the bottom of the sixth and travel to the seventh to close it out. It's good hitters count. And Votaba takes a strike there. She squared a bun, but pulled it back immediately. Did take one on the upper shelf. Two 
2 1. I think she chopped that at the plate. She did. And it's 2 2. Off the hands, down the left field line, and a foul ball. That would have been a close one. Two, two. On the ground, Shopper to the second baseman, Barnett. She fires over to Barris, and there's one away. How about the first baseman, Kara Taylor? Taylor's two for three. And this one hard hit and pass the shortstop swear engine. That's going to rattle into the gap. Taylor's around first base. She's digging into second. Now she's getting the green light to go to third. The throw is going to beat her, though. And she is out diving headfirst into third base. So credit her with a double. And then she's thrown out trying for three. Shortstop, First extra base hit for the Lions today. Maddie Speaks stands in. She has a ball on her right now. She's one for three today. Almost sent the bat head around on that one, but took it back instead. Two balls to no strikes. Two zero, left center field ball traveling well, but not well enough. Hefner able to get it, and the Lions for the first time today don't score. We go to the top half of the seventh inning. Where the Lions look to close this one out. They lead five to nothing. You're watching Peabot Lions Softball on YouTube. Hefner takes strike one from Steinmeier, who looks to go the distance in game number one and wrap up a 5 to nothing Lions win. Got work to do versus her, though. That's outside. It'll be Hefner, Chamberlain, and Yuri. In the air, left field over is Votava near the line. She makes the grab, and there's one away. Now betting the pitcher, Claire Chamberlain.
Claire Chamberlain's up. She's 0 for 2 with a line out and a strikeout. Her counterpart Steinmeier has been brilliant so far. Six no run innings on four hits. A one pitch. Out towards left field again. They got a piece of it. Votava can't get there as it drops behind her. Chamberlain will streak around first base and get into second with a one out double. Votava gave it a courtesy reach, but it was well over her glove. Gina Yuri is singled today. Panthers trying to come away with something on the board. And that missed low. 1 0. Upstairs, 2 0. Three and O oh from Steinmeier, and they haven't been all but close. And there's a strike. Yuri was ready to drop the bat and jog to first. She climbs back in to face Steinmeier again. 3 1. And where was that pitch? It seemed like the exact one he just called. Maybe a little bit higher? Yeah. Either way, it's a one out walk. Now two runners on. First walk of the day for Steinmeier. For Coleman's 0 for 2. And that one hit the building. <laughs> Usually they'll hit the plexiglass or the fence, but that one just came up, hit the building we're in. Oh one. That one right up against the fence. I think Coleman's trying to cause some property damage. Two runners on with one down and an 0-2 count on Brooke Coleman. Steinmeier fires and that stays upstairs. One two pitch. Two and two. Steinmeier's control leaving her a little bit, and LaGrange getting a little bit more patient. And that's going to draw a visit from Coach Martin. It's game in the balance a little bit here. Steinmeier saw the LaGrange lineup all game long, but a booming double from Chamberlain and just lost control versus Yuri, and now in a tough spot versus Coleman. This game, even with one out, can get out of hand quickly if you're not careful. Home plate umpire walks out to the circle to break up the meeting. Just giving Steinmeier a breather. Missed inside. Now a full count three and two. Three 
3-2 on the way. Driven to left field and well foul. Coleman had the right idea with that one, but just really early on it. Three two pitch on the way. Driven to left again. She got a hang of it. Whew. Steinmeier might not want to miss upstairs as Coleman begins to try to time her up. Her hard hit ball, another foul ball. And the battle continues. Three, two, once again, and fouled at the plate. A double digit AB. This one hard hit on the ground. Isley can knock it down. She Steps on the back. I think they're going to say that's a foul ball it is. So another one. Goodness. Coleman doesn't want to go back to the dugout without a hit. She's been protecting the plate well. Foul ball. Three, two, out towards left center field. That's going to split the gap. It's going to score one, maybe two. It gets past Callaway. Now Votava triggers it in, and Coleman finally gets her base hit. It's an extra base double, and that'll score an RBI. Five to one, and I think that's going to be the last pitch that Steinmeier throws in game number one. And she earned it. On the pitch for the Lions, number 23, Summer McCrane. Summer McCrane will be the pitcher. She'll warm up and we'll step aside. Lions into a little bit of trouble here in the top half of the seventh inning. They still lead 5-1. to one. You're watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. Okay. So it'll be Summer McCraney coming out of the bullpen, needing two outs to shut the door on this one, with LaGrange beginning to knock it down. It's a pinch runner for LaGrange. Pinch running at third base, number 23, Cecilia Gonzalez. And Cecilia Gonzalez checks in at third, and at second base, it's Breon Nubile. 
At the play here, it's Kinsey Hornsby. McCraney's first pitch has popped up. That'll land on the roof. I was waiting for the thud. Oh, one pitch is well outside. Excellent job by Green to get out of the crouch and snag that one before it goes to the backstop. I would assume Gonzalez will be booking it home. 1-1 one, one pitch. Right back. Ball and two strikes. McCraney wheels back and fires. And missed outside. Just by a touch. So two and two. Big swing and a miss. She got her. Excellent pitch by McCraney to put some downspin on it. Get it below the knees and get a chase. It'll go to the top of the lineup where Lindsey Swearingen's ready to bat. Looked like the inning would be routine after a fly out to start by Hefner. But a double, a walk, and another double have put LaGrange in a possibility to come back a little as McCraney fires the first pitch outside. Tying run on deck for LaGrange. And that's a called strike on the inner half. One and one. Ball two. Two on, two down, and a 5-1 ball game. 2-1 the count, and a swing and a miss for strike two. McCraney gets some dirt in the hand, steps back onto the rubber. 2-2 two -two coming. Got a look at strike three, and the Lions lock up game one. Slam the door in the face of LaGrange. Final score of game one, five to one. Lions are able to score in every inning up until the sixth to build their lead, and Megan Steinmeier was brilliant through six and a third innings. Well, don't go too far because we'll take about 30 minute or so break in between games and be back for game number two. Lions secure a split and take game one by a final score again of five to one. Watching Piedmont Lions softball on YouTube. 